this is a broad axe that was used uh, right shortly after the box axe was used. We had production of tens, but with no nails. Uh, this was put right near the base of the tree. One gentleman held it right at the ground level or about six inches above the ground. They take it and hold it against the tree and another guy would take this maul and hit it hard here, make an indention into the tree. Then they would reach and get a tin and stick it in that open area and it would seal automatically. Uh, it, this was used before my time, but uh, not too long before my time. But uh, uh, you find a few of these axes around, but uh, it's kind of shaped like a half moon and it'll fit against a tree. Fits pretty snug all the way around, about a 10 or 11 inch tree diameter breast high. And uh, just took a pretty hard lick to open up the cavity where you'd slip the tin in, move it, and it would seal without any problem. This is known as a maul. They were made in various uh, configurations, but if you'll notice, this one was cut out as a whole piece of wood and whittled down on the handle end and left the big heavy end that you could swing it. The, the extra turpentine hand would, while his partner was holding the ax, he would back off and hit it one hard lick and it'd make an indention into the tree. They would pull the ax out and stick a tin in it and it would seal itself without the use of any nails. So it was a pretty good idea. Uh, as time went on, we came up with various other means of cup and gum, but this, this was sufficient for that era of time, sometime after 1905.